You are doing well. Well, welcome again to another video. Well, in this video, or this video specifically, is in response to those who have asked me about books concerning didactics. And uh, I would like to share some titles that I think that they would, uh, they would really help. So when it comes to didactics, I do have, I think, a really good library when it comes to didactics. This is my electronic, full electronic library concerning didactics to this field. But of course, I'm going to share a few with you. Um, I have selected them here. So I think that this, these books, of course, they are so important. The why? Because simply they balance between practice and theory. And this is the gist of didactics. And every student should, in fact, be equipped with sufficient theory concerning regard, regarding uh, teaching and learning and of course practice and since i mentioned the word practice is one of the advantages uh, advantages that usually students who are already teachers uh, because they have they have experience with teaching they usually they usually find it so easy to link between the theory and what they do in class but of course since you don't have it or most students don't have this we try, you should try to read books in order to gain the, these skills at least. So we'll start with the conception of teaching. As you see, the title of the book here indicates that it's all about, um, about the conception. So it's about theory. Okay, so this book, in fact, what's, what's good about this book, it really tackles a lot of theories concerning language teaching. And it tackles these theories like from the ground, like very first theories, then it progresses further to like the modern one. So, for example, if you see the desirability and possibility of a theory of teaching for experimental main effects, you find, for example, conception of theory. For example, you go here, you find, for example, the B.F. Skinner's position on theory. A lot of ideas and all these are from old ones, like from old approaches to new approaches. So this book is good. Of course, I don't think that most of you have time to read this book, but at least you should do kind of an objective reading in which you directly uh, search for a concept and you start directly answer it. This is concerning the first book. Okay, we have a course in language teaching, practice and theory. Well, if there is a book that is really practical, it would be this book, because in this book, it really uh, addresses heads on, uh, heads on directly the concepts in teaching. For example, if I'm going to see uh, how to teach grammar, you find it here. How to teach vocabulary, you find it here. How to teach the four skills, you find it here. You find, for example, test, the definitions of test. For example, everything concerning that. Also, it, it tackles theory. So it's really, it's so balanced between theory and practice, although I think it's really geared toward practice. So this book is very, very nice. You have this book. Well, this book, my idea concerning this book is really not that... Uh, in other words, it's not a book that I do like to read a lot, but usually I find myself searching for a concept in this book because it, ha it tackles a lot of ideas in teaching, but usually not a very specific way, but still it's a book that I do like everyone to have. Now, an intercultural approach to language teaching, this one is really uh, oriented for students who are going to take exams uh, in intercultural approach or culture. Because most of the time when students tell me that I want to sit an exam on that culture, I tell them, so you know, because you don't have time, you have to study everything that deals with culture and teaching at the same time. So this is so important. So you should do that uh, you start because as you can see you have an intercultural approach to second language education implementing an intercultural approach it talks about a lot of things so this book is one book that you really have to read when it comes to integration of culture you have approaches and methods in language teaching and description and analysis that's richard on rogers of course this book is uh, let's say it's, it's it's a reference book most teachers, most teachers at university, they use this book to design the lessons. So you expect that most teachers, if they are going to design their, an exam, they are going to be influenced somehow with this book. So this book is very, very important. At least you have to read concerning uh, approaches and methods because everything is here. This is a reference book. Now we have approaches to learning a guide for teacher. I think this is one of my, of, one of my favorite 
really one of my favorite books. And in fact, why my favorite? Because everything I want usually is here. See, it starts with the philosophy of education. That's the theory. That's the basic of teaching. It progresses to behaviorism, then cognitivism, constructivism, social learning. And as you can see, this progress is also it reflects the chronological progress in our in our studies and also in the in the progress of theories. We started with behaviorism, in which we talk just about stimulus response, and that's also affected how we study language, to cognitivism, that minding affective factors, to constructivism to the constructs of knowledge, to the social learning, that is social constructivism, the cultural learning intelligence, everything you find is there. So this book. It's very important. You need to quote from it. You need to take information from it. So you need that. You have English language teaching. This is uh, this book. I think is written by Indians and it tackles pro problems indication in India. A lot of a uh, lot of resources, a lot of examples. Well, the good thing about this book, this book is so simple. Like. Really, really simple. Sometimes you find even mistakes, which is weird, but really odd when it comes to a, a book. But this book, it's like it's like some lessons written, like from methods, approaches, or work, reading, writing, composition. I mean, you find everything so easy there. So it's something good if you want to write essays, you want to learn from it. You have English language uh, teaching in a social context, uh, context. So this book, I think, is for those who want to expand their talk, expand their ideas concerning the teaching of language uh, and they include social uh, factors this one is really really important also we go to exploring english language teaching language in action this one is also good because also it tackles a lot of concepts it's not really a practical book when it comes to practice but it still it deals with concepts and it deals with social problems with some problems in language teaching, this is why I do like it. It's really I do like it. These books that really focus on theory are really problematic because most of the time you, you may find them boring, but trust me, the theory is everything. You have okay this book. Um, this book. Now we go to really practical matters. For example, as you can see, we have task-based learning. Why? you should read about this task-based learning project-based learning because these are the trends today in algeria for example you have to be aware that we use competency-based approach now we use what they call the second generation the second generation there are some changes we mostly focus on a project-based approach too so i do advise that students they you need to go and have at least do some contact with teachers and ask them how do we teach English now because you do need this practice by the way you really need this um, the the second book also is a, an icon when it comes to language teaching and it's something that you really have to read this book you must have okay uh, the same thing here uh, you have some concepts for example learning and teaching multiple languages perspective on language learning and teaching this one I do recommend if you have time if you have enough time you just at least look at it for example the methodology of foreign language teaching is something that you really need to have a look because these sometimes these information they are uh, sorry not these this information is going to help you all uh, these essays these these books they will help you in regarding developing uh, more ideas that are going to help you in order to write well of course, we don't forget Hammer, uh, How to Teach English. That's one book that's also very important. Uh, at least, for example, you see here what's it, how to be a good teacher. That's usually going to take it to the role of the teacher. And you have to go to the role of the learners, manage teaching and learning. So this is so important. Also, you have another book of Hammer. This one is also so important to read. You may find it on the boring side a bit because it just talk. But at the end, this talk is always going to contribute to your understanding to, to how teaching should be done. Then at the end, this book, Save to the Last, Task-Based Language Teaching of Noonan. This book, I do think that you need to, even if you can't read it, at least you should kind of do a quick overview. Try to read all the concepts that are there. For example, you have... 
uh, chapter one, what is task-based language teaching? As you know, that we use now task-based teaching in our education. So you need to have a look at it. For example, you need to, to differences between a task and activity. All you see that we have com communicative language teaching. Why it's communicative? Because it has to do directly with the idea of tasks. So it's very important. You have, for example, to move to the task component. All these, they are so important because these are practical. These are practical. This concept deals directly with the practice of language teaching inside the class. So every teacher, in fact, should know about this concept. So I have provided you here with books, and there are a lot. You can read them in the sp in time span of one month. But what you should do, at least you should try to summarize the concept that are involved there. See what I have done here. It's kind of a, a small lecture, of a short lecture, sorry, a short lecture to you. I have tried, in my talk, I tried to ingest some, uh, to include some words, and these words is for you to expand later. So my piece of advice is what you do, you should at least uh, listen to the video again and try to take all these concepts and try to expand them into essays. Of course, there will be videos, uh, upcoming videos, I'm going to talk about also methodology, I'm going to talk about other fields, and I'm trying to explain more and more. So, thank you so much, I hope you have re enjoyed this video, please leave comments, please support, please subscribe, it's something I really need. Up to now, people are telling me that I, have, I didn't know about this uh, channel, so please uh, support in expanding this work further, so thank you so much, and have a good day.